works. I got an opponent. He will be very happy to see that I am naked. But if he is a new player, he might be not very happy to see that I am... Uh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, hello? Your enemy is ready. The battle starts in... Okay. So hammer in this battle is not the best weapon. He have a good weapon. He have a sword. For him it will be very... Oh! I can use a green sword! Let's go! Yeah, it's 1v1 arena. There is uh, also group arenas. And it's in a bigger battle. Hello, friend. What? I have a feeling he's... Okay. Uh, he was trying. He was trying. But I didn't even let him hit me once, right? <laughs> so you see, you come back to the same position. You you go to uh, arena. You fight there, and you come back to exactly the same position. So it's not a big problem to do that while you farming or doing something so there's a, a group arenas or you can just go to the arena to observe you just hold alt to open the big menu here on the top if it's closed you can click here and it will always be open but you still need to hold alt so so your mouse is uh, unlocked and uh, you click on the v versus and register for a solo arena boom there you go and then accept yeah lag is issue but when there is a big massive fight uh, the lag becomes uh, less of an issue the issue becomes the quantity of your army yeah the bigger army you have the less important is everything else the smaller the army you have the the better connection you want but if your army is only 10 players and you're being attacked by 30 players those 30 players can be total noobs and they they will still win the fight just because you, you know it's not made so like you cannot become so powerful to kill the army single-handedly no it would be not correct this is medieval times even a, a bad players have a chance Why are you using a one-handed sword? Don't hold too long. If you hold too long your sword, you will lose power and then you get staggered. You know that I can also parry you. Now you see your health is low. Parry. You survived that hit? Wow. Why he's not dying? I think... <laughs> okay, I think he bugged out. To be honest, I can still win a fight by the timer runs out and he won't manage to hit me. Don't jump. If you jump, you lose a lot of stamina. Oh! Where was his health? Maybe it was just an HP bar bug. Maybe it just glitched out. It didn't show me his full health. Yeah. That could be true. Am I get... Did I just got four silvers? What? 
for playing in arena? That's a lot. Hey. That's a money machine. Let's go. And the duels starting up so fast. Oh my god. I will also uh, show you arena where you can train, guys. I will show you how to train. So you have a homework, what to do. How to get better. Most uh, players will start winning fights. Uh, Pickaxe. Are you? Oh, okay. You took a sword. Is that the same guy? I think that's the same dude, with the, with his held bar bug. So most important thing in a battle is have a correct key binds. When you have a correct key binds, it's already easier to. Easier to win a, a fight against exactly the same player as you. And if he doesn't have a key binds. Okay, what happened? Why I don't move? Why I don't move? My legs stuck somewhere. Oh, there you go. I can move now. I think I stuck in a kicking animation. Yes, key binds for directional blocking and attacking. If you set that up, you are already one step ahead of all the players that didn't step. You literally get to silver for fighting in an arena. That's a lot. Yeah, uh, not in arena, in duels. Now I'm moving to arena. I will show. Have anyone seen him? No. The next thing, when you set up your key binds, you want to practice. Practice those key binds to get better. Uh, get used to your key binds. Uh, get used to uh, doing the correct thing at the correct time. Here, you can buy a wooden sword. I would recommend buying a wooden two-handed sword. It costs one silver. I know it might be a lot in the beginning, but you don't want to destroy this sword, your main sword. You want something not very important. There you go. It's a wooden sword. It will do a very little damage, but when it comes to blocking, it's totally fine. <laughs> Here is a siege engine you can practice on. Uh, if you want, you can train a catapult, how it works. You can switch to fireball by clicking jump. And there you go, it, it's a fire. And if you don't uh, switch uh, with jump again, it will be just a rock. And you need to use accordingly by the situation when you need a fire when you need a rock when there is a uh, more than one catapult uh, in your team one catapult usually shoots fire the other one shoots rock uh, as you're a beginner you can train and practice on these fellows they're very weak they're level three every time when you start a fight start with a kick not with a stab don't be a jerk if you stab him you will leave him with half health Practice blocking. Only blocking. Of course, set your binds. Right. L wait, let me show you. Uh, binds. Uh, don't look at my settings. Mine is weird. Uh, they are... I'm playing on a keypad. 
keypad that has an analog stick for movement but i can tell you what is important in the combat i mean what keys you can might try using it so you can use the same as i use on my mouse my mouse have a uh, two side buttons one of the side buttons is overhead while the other one is stab it's easy to remember overhead and stab side buttons my left mouse button is left attack and the right mouse button is right attack that's it i have all the attacks i need uh, now i need to work on my blocks i need a right block left block and center center block everyone binds on the space because this is the block you will use the most you will always use the center block a lot a lot because there will be a lot of attacks from overhead overhead attacks why there will be a lot of overhead attacks because a lot of weapons have overhead multiplier a little bit bigger hammer axes bardish sword has a uh, only stab lower multiplier but everything else is the same so that's why center block is important center block also blocks the overhead attack and stab so with one button you block two attacks the next blocks are left and right where i would recommend you to bind them is something that you could use uh while you're moving at the same time like if i do right block i can still move any direction while holding the right block the same with left while I hold left block, I can still move any direction. The same with center block. While I hold my block, I can move to any direction. Yes? To do that, you need to use your thumb or your pinky. I would use pinky for a left block on something like shift, control, tab. The other button you use for running. You have one on running, it's shift, as I remember, yeah? I use control as a running. So I could use my left block as a shift very easy. Right block is a little bit more tricky because uh, your thumb is not used to clicking more buttons than just a space, right? So you need to get used to clicking not only the space bar, that's your center block, but also something close to space bar like B, N or V, maybe C. I don't know where you hold your thumb. Decide which button is closer to your uh, thumb finger when you pre prepare all those buttons now go practice on this guy you see his attack going up block center right left you don't even need to move he can move you just block it you're practicing your blocks when you're blocking only you're losing your blocking stamina you can see in the bottom it be thank you for the follow gargle uh, you can see in the bottom in between the health bar and stamina there is in the middle in a gray uh, block stamina that means i cannot block forever if i will be blocking forever and my stamina goes all the way to zero yes that's correct i won't be able to do any blocks but weirdly, it uh, regenerates faster than this guy is making me lose the stamina. <laughs> to avoid losing your stamina too fast, you need to do attack from time to time. Like this. This restores your stamina. N uh, I mean block stamina, not stamina stamina, but block stamina. If you only block, 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 that's not correct game. In the beginning, well, when you're practicing only blocking, I would recommend to only block. Until you can block like this, without missing a single hit. When you will learn blocking like this, finish this guy. Your next level will be that guy. Combat teacher... 30 level 30 combat teacher level 60 and combat teacher level 100 so let's try this teacher when you get better with blocking those guys try blocking this guy 
he's maybe a little bit faster. He might do some fakes. Yeah. He sometimes fake the attacks. He might fake from the left and do attack from the right or something like that. But it's still quite easy. This guy is not complicated. I usually practice pairing on this guy. Like when he attacks, I attack at the same time, but on the same direction and I will parry his hit. If he's holding block, I can try kicking. Blocking is very important in this game. Learn to block. Learn not to die. Not to die against this guy. Look at my st uh, uh, block stamina. It's going down. I cannot block him forever. But it, as you can see, it's not hard for me. I did this very long time. Okay, it's time to die, I think. Yeah. This is better than in-game tutorial. The, 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 the in-game tutorial doesn't teach you the advanced combat. It, I, I call this basically advanced combat. In-game tutorial also don't tell you anything about keybinds. And keybinds is important in this game if you want to be a little bit faster than your opponent. Uh, you won't be a little bit faster than the veterans. Veteran players are crazy. Uh, I can show you how they are training. When you will see how they are training, you will say, Okay, 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 now I understand why they are so good. They do like this. They take two targets. I'm not that good at two targets. Yeah, I'm not that good at two targets and I'm also naked. If I skip few hits, that's all. I'm dead. Practice naked. This way you will feel that skipping a hit is very bad. <laughs> when you will learn... Yeah, feel the pressure. When you will learn blocking. Let's say even this guy. By the way, if you didn't know... The center block sign like this two times means I want to duel with you. If you meet a player in the... Uh, if you meet the other nation player somewhere in a PvP zone, right? But you don't want to engage. He might just show you that we can go friendly PvP battle. So sometimes there is uh, two groups of uh, different nation players. And they don't fight. They just go one on one just to, for fun instead of going to arena instead of going to duels they just do a duels in the middle of the map somewhere you know and it's normal it's totally fine to do it like that we did it uh, i did it it's really fun to do it this way so when you do a block two times that means you want to duel this guy if you don't understand kick him <laughs> now this guy oh my god this guy will be kicking you have in mind, if you will be holding block when he's executing kick, you will be staggered. And while you're staggered, you cannot do any blocks for for a while, for a split second. That will make e easy target for your uh, opponent. Don't try to kick this guy. You will never kick this guy. Also, try to get used to blocking exactly at the same time when the hit is coming don't hold your block forever by the way my stamina is almost low i need to perform a hit if i will be doing the hit also come on let me hit you there you go he hits i hit my stamina restores you see i restore my stamina so that's why you need to practice your enemy hits, then you hit. Or easier, uh, first you block, then you hit. First you block, then you hit. You block, you hit. You block, you hit. 
This way you never lose the block stamina. But you are still losing your stamina stamina. You see that yellow bar? It's going down and it's not going up. You know why? Because I'm holding block always. If you hold the block, your stamina is not restoring. You need to stop uh, stop holding your block all the time to let stamina restore. Every hit costs stamina. Holding block doesn't restore the stamina. It doesn't take consume the stamina, but it doesn't restore the stamina. I will I will not win this battle. I know it will take way too long because I don't do any damage with this wooden sword. You play with the wooden sword so you don't kill your target way too fast. You need to get used to, to this pressure. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. How do I sign if I like some enemy woman? What do you mean? <laughs> Shields, right. Do we have shields here? Shields, in 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 one way it's easier, in another way it's harder. Uh, if you get used to it, you will get used to it. But have in mind that the shields... Do I have a shield? We don't have a shield in here. Maybe we should do a shield... I'm stuck to keep up. No, 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 no. I think this way will be faster. There. Yes, you can bash with a shield. Yes, they can block the arrows. I can answer all the questions. I probably might not find the shield to show you, but even if you don't hold the shield up front, uh, but just were uh, hanging uh, loose Th that shield is still blocking the arrows they did this update not so long ago uh, where can I get a shield I think there <laughs> this guy oh he's, he's sitting like this damn they bring in some new cool animations armor smith do you have a shield Yes, he does have a shield, and it's a very cheap one, though. Training, two-handed sword, and a shield. Oh, yeah, I can have a shield on my back. That's correct. If I pull out my two-handed sword... Uh, you see, the shield stays on the back, and it gives me bonuses. This shield gives me bonuses. If I remove... Look, the bonuses goes down, you see? And put it down. Every item you put on, you lose a total damage if you didn't notice. Uh, shoes. Those were light shoes. They don't uh, remove a lot of damage. Gloves. Same. You see? But if you put something medium or heavy, you lose the damage bonus. That's why archers should go light gear. Yes, when it's on your back, she shield blocks the arrows. It's, I don't think the hitbox is very good, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> okay, uh, let me get back to arena and show you a few more things with shield. I don't know if I have bashing on my shield. I think I do have bash key but i don't play a lot with shield when i play with the shield i just use it for blocking have in mind you cannot block forever your shield also have that stamina the block stamina that when you lose the block stamina your shield will be basically useless and then you will have to do your blocks the same hard way directional blocks It's not like breaking uh, like and cannot be usable. It's basically uh, just you lose stamina. But 
every item have a durability and from time you need to repair repair that item if you don't repair then it will break and it, probably it won't be usable at all i never broke item all the way to that moment so it would be unusable there this is a one-handed sword so now you see i have a one-handed sword and shield blocks are a little bit different if i click a uh, center block it's still in front if i click uh, a right block it's still in front and left block it's still in front uh, to know more exactly what kind of shield radius have because it's not e exactly in the front it's more to the left and in front than to the right and in front your right is more open than your left uh, you need to check the google uh, i mean vikia uh, gloria victus vikia to know better how the shield uh, works blocks but yeah there is a how does the bashing works damn uh settings uh, alternative shield bash I know that there was a uh, there it's on kick shield bash is on kick oh Mm, totally forgot yeah, 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 yeah here 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 this shield bash you need a skill <laughs> there there you go now i have a shield bash uh the shield bash is kind of tricky it's also directional but that directions are with the mouse the same way as you would uh, play with the default controls attacks and blocks the same way shield bash works it depends which way you swing your mouse that way it will shield bash you need to hold your block and do a kick that's for my controls but you can set up alternative button for a shield bash so it's not a kick uh, those who play with the shield they tend to block way too much and because of that they get kicked way too often and they get staggered when you get kicked in a shield uh yeah i need to show you how that stagger works yeah there you go now i will be holding shield until there he kicked me you see what happened and he kicked me again you need to practice avoiding that if there's no indicator attack indicator then you should not hold your block you only hold block when there is an indicator there you go my shield is broken now i need to it's not broken it's uh, my stamina i lost shield stamina i need to perform an attack to restore some of my shield stamina i can still do my blocks with one-handed sword no problem but i need to use them directionally now bashing that guy good luck with that How much does it matter? Nothing. Totally n doesn't matter at all. It's just for the those who like a role play, more into game lore. W don't mind reading. <laughs> I don't like reading. <laughs> Anything you choose in your uh, character creation can can be changed. No problems. As a new player, you have a. Uh, three changes until you get to level 90 
you can change your skill uh, passive skill points and attributes there is no classes in here there is a class what you what you built that's your class this is a caval cavalry class the horse rider class this is a medic skill tree if you're planning to do a medic you will need this uh, everything in here is it can be a tank tank goes more on the left side archers go more on the right side uh, bruisers depends yes you can reset your skill tree all the way to the level 90 i cannot do that because i'm not the new player anymore even if it, this is a new server, I'm still not. I'm, I am not counted as a new player. I'm counted as a veteran, apparently. <laughs> Skill-based combat. Become a combat master. Nice. Oh, they they have a tutorials. The the glory of Victus uh, YouTube page have a tutorials a little bit about combat. If you want, you can check it there. Yes, so don't worry in the beginning until you level 90. Be sure by the level 90 that you know what kind of class you want to play. Tank, tanks and bruisers, it's not a big difference. But archers, cavalry and medics, they are a slightly different. Even though medic will take away from you a few extra points on this tree side but it's still you can still be a good tank you can still be archer and a medic you can still be bruiser and a medic jumping is not crucial you know what i use for jumping i hope the devel developers won't ban me for this macro but my jump is when i run i need to click on q <laughs> I need to hold run and click Q to jump. If I click Q without running, it does nothing. Because the only time you need to jump, you also need to run. <laughs> so my Q is uh, free button. Because when I play in a combat and instead of left block, I click Q, I lose a lot of stamina. You know, you just try to block and then you accidentally jump. Look how much stamina you lost, you see? Jumping is really bad in a combat. But you need a jump. There is places where you will need to jump over something. Yeah. More important for you is uh, paint. Paint, cancel attack. You can cancel attack with a block. Like you preparing attack and you hit a block. Why you do that? To change attack direction. You want to attack left, right, up, right, left, up. You just don't finish the attack. And your opponent will see the indicator goes up, left, right, left, right, up, left, right. You know? If you have, a, have it on a feint, you can do this a little bit faster. I don't know if you can see that on a stream, but I'm changing my attack direction very fast with fainting that's an advanced combat i don't want to bother you with this now but faint button will be needed a little bit later the same as kick okay guys i really would like to stay but i have to wake up very early tomorrow i have to go to work 